So what happens when one day you start to notice a hole in either your vegetables or your fruit or your berries and then the next day it looks like this. What causes that you might ask? And it's actually a very simple answer. It is that right there otherwise known as the Asian beetle. These things can really cause a mess very quickly, overnight practically. So how do you treat them? And well, I had a video up that I did a couple years ago on some traps. The traps work very effectively. I used to have, there's another one right there so you can see the green stripe on it. I used to have thousands of these things on my plants. And of course now, it's not going to come into focus. I used to have thousands of these on my plants every year. And now not so many. There's uh, only a couple, no matter where I look, there's only a couple. But, it only takes a couple, totally destroy a plant overnight. Look at this. Now granted it actually took a couple days, but look at this one over here. Two different plants, you can actually see the damage they're causing on this leaf right here. So it starts out with usually a hole. It'll progress to this. Or I might have that backwards, but either way, it'll start out with one or the other, progress to that end up like this in no time now if you look at some of my plants like my lemon my lime my figs all of my bananas they leave them alone now this banana right here has got a little bit of damage on it but not much and you can pretty much walk around your yard and notice they leave some things alone but they will destroy others very, very, very quickly. Looks like most everything down there, the gooseberries and the hazelnuts are okay. The figs are okay. But some things they just destroy. So let me show you some things. If you have a really bad infestation of Japanese, Oriental, Asian beetles, whatever you want to call them, they sell these traps on Amazon. Now these traps, they work really well. These are actually a couple years old and I just never took them down. Why? Because, well, they continue to work for a couple years. Now they're actually damaged more by sun and I didn't worry so much about even replacing them last year or this year because my Asian beetle problem has mostly been eradicated. Now that might sound crazy. It wasn't just these traps that did it. What did it is a product called Milky Spores, and I'll link to both these traps and the Milky Spores in the description, video description, so that you can click on them. So what I did was the year that I had Asian beetles, like thousands of them everywhere, I hung up these traps all around my property. Now they say you shouldn't hang them up near like gardens and stuff because it does have an attractant that attracts them to the bags so I had one here I had one at the end of where my blackberries was at and then I had one about 50 feet away from my orchard so that's three bags on a one acre property oh and I also had one up here on the corner of the garden so I had one on each end of the garden one by my blackberries which is up here on the other side of these weeds and then I had one hanging on a tree which is about I don't know 30 40 50 feet away from where my orchard's at and I, I would have to go empty them like every six or seven days and that helped to control them or get them off of the plants now kind of another interesting thing you can see these grapes they're not really bothering them at all and i used to have a trap that hung right there and actually i had a i know actually it hung right here because it's still here look <laughs> so <laughs> 
there's the trap it wasn't on the corner like i thought right there it was actually right here but they leave these alone now i don't know if they have a way to know because one thing i kind of notice is they tend to leave areas alone where these traps used to be even though the traps aren't active right now the scent is well dissipated i don't know how they know but they leave that stuff alone what they bother is the stuff that's away from them now so anyways the first year i use these traps to collect the bugs and that fall i put down this milky spore stuff i think it was a I don't remember if it's a 10, 20, or 30 pound bag now, but whatever size that it was says, you know, it was basically the amount that was required to treat about an acre of land. And I come out here with a fertilizer spreader and literally put it everywhere in the grass, in the gardens, in the orchard, in the berry beds, everywhere. So, what that milky spore does, which is totally harmless to humans and pets, it gets into the soil and those Japanese beetles, they have a life cycle where right now they're above ground um, as the actual beetle. But then later in the year, they go back into the ground. They lay eggs. The eggs turn into larva in the ground and that milky spore kills the larva. So then the next year not as many emerge now that milky spore has been doing great because we can walk around here and look i showed you the ones that were up there two on one plant that's all it took to destroy that one but i would probably have trouble finding any anywhere else now my su what i suspect is maybe some of the eggs got into some of these flower pots up there that i should have planted last year and never did and they emerged so that's kind of how I suspect that that one grape kind of got destroyed right there. Because there are some neighboring plants that have some issues, but not too many others. Now, if we walk around here and look at like, you know, these sunflowers, they're not bothering them. They're not bothering... I've not seen anything with the blackberries. They practically destroyed the blackberries two years ago. I've not seen anything with the blackberries. So it just seems to be what got hit the hardest was that one grape. <laughs> Which I haven't, you know, I bought it three years ago and haven't had time to plant it yet. So anyways, just wanted to help you out. Quick video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So if you are having problems with the Japanese beetles, Asian beetles, Oriental beetles, they come under various different names. I showed you how to identify the problem, showed you how to identify the beetle, showed you the traps that you should buy to get immediate relief from them, and then told you what the long-term solution is. Because I forgot to mention, those milky spores that last for 20 years once you treat it. So you look at what that cost is for a bag, Divide that by 20. That's what it's going to cost you for a year to never have to worry about them again. Except for that oddball infection like I got on that one grapevine. And uh, that's, that's the only damage I've found so far this year. Anyways, hope you found this interesting. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. And God bless your homesteads.